Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and I want to send salutations to all the Akiyam throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, so this lesson is going to be about this 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 comment that was left on a on the comment board by this chick. All right, uh, her name is uh, Lee Sha. All right, so basically, it was talking about how you know men and women are the same. Um, you know, the man holds the life in the, in the, in, in, and when the man puts his sperm into a woman, oh, the, that life grows in the womb of the woman and then the woman, uh, delivers the child. And these chicks got a problem with that. They want to, they want to hype the woman up and, uh, they want to build up the woman to be something that she's not. All right. A woman has her role. A woman's role is extremely important. It's extremely important to a man. But these women don't want to play their role. They want to be the role of the man. They want to be God. They want to be superhero. They want to be everything. They want to be everything. They want to be everything that man can't even be. Like a man has his boundaries. They feel like they're capable of going beyond the boundaries of a man. And to be above a man. Like, this is the pride of these women. And that's why the Lord is going to bring them low. Because of their pride and their stupidity. So this is what she had to say, right? She said 100% right. Because she was agreeing with another idiot on the comment board that said that women don't need men for, for childbirth and all this other stuff. She said 100% right. Women are more than gods. Okay. Women are more than gods, not because you come with a PowerPoint statement means it's right. That is not women empowerment and it and it's not women's empowerment. Women is power. They just don't know it because a brainwash system made them weak as fuck. The male came about. By the process of Parneath Genesis. Not no Adam and Eve Nancy story. So she believes that because, you know, animals, they say that animals, they say that animals um, can uh, produce on the on the by themselves. OK, so they feel they feel as if uh, a woman can do that on her own. So she believes that from the very beginning that a woman gave birth to civilization without a man. Like a woman came from a man. All right. And that's just how it, how the Lord had it. Okay. Not even the Lord. Just, just, she just believed that just the beginning. Like, like a woman by itself developed some type of sperm. And it was in the womb or in her ovaries and then next thing you know boom a child is born that is damn damn you dumb like that's just a, the mindset of these women they'll go through the extremes they can't prove that scientifically a woman has never naturally just had a child gave birth on her own without a man they can't they can't go they can't bring any type of proof that this has ever happened it's just he say she say it really is it, well you know also yeah because I think even this this idiot polite he teaches that that's why he says the black woman is God madness and it's usually black women that's promoting this because it's niggas like polite that go out there and, and put them on a pedestal to believe this nonsense All right, so they believe that a woman doesn't need a sperm from a man 
to bring life into the world and that uh, through a woman just a woman uh the human um civilization came through her that's madness so that's why she says that we are we are more than gods that's what she says yeah all right now this is the law this is how this is how it you go about the law of god and how life is brought into this world this is uh leviticus 12 and 1 it says and yahweh spake unto moses saying speak unto the children of israel saying if a woman have conceived seed and born a man child then she shall be clean so she shall be unclean seven days according to the days of the separation of her infirmity uh, shall she be uh, unclean now it says she conceives seed where do you get the seed from you get the seed from the man okay the man puts his seed in a woman okay this is by the law a man puts his seed in a woman, all right, and then a child is born. That's how it goes. It doesn't say conceive seed of a woman. The seed comes from the man. Okay, let's go, let's let's look up seed. All right, it says this is seed here in the Hebrew, zara. It says to sow to scatter seed to sow to, pro to producing yielding seed which is basically fertiliz fertil fertilization of the uh, the world with trees and things of that nature this is the first part it says to be sown to become pregnant be be made pregnant and how you do that by sex all right to sow to produce seed to yield seed all right so you uh conceive seed all right and uh you no know, even through planting you plant the seed into the ground and then it grows so the seed has to be planted somewhere all right and even when you look up seed in the um in the greek let me see. Seed in the Greek. All right. You know, it's, it's to sow, to scatter seed, metaphorically, uh, of a uh, pr provable saying. Or I think that's how you say it. All right. It's to scatter, to sow seed, to receive seed. All right. To draw. One sort of that's going to something else. All right, but it's all about the uh, the woman, and uh, and it's all about putting seed somewhere. All right, then you go to the other definition in the Greek, sperma. All right, it goes, uh, you know, and the first definition is all about the planting of uh, of plants. So we're gonna go down. Uh, lower to the second definition it's uh the sperm uh varel it says um the product of this sperm seed children offspring of uh, pro progene uh family tribe uh posture whatever possesses uh vital force or life giving power divine energy of the holy spirit uh, operating within the soul by which we are regenerated all right so by which we are regenerated all right so it's the offspring the sperm it says, uh, and look at the Strong's, it talks about saying, including the male sperm, all right? So he's talking about the planting in 
of the the male sperm all right from seeds uh, seeds that grow plants and the seed that comes from the male which is the man all right so you have that that's what that's about that's how you come into the world we can actually prove that but you cannot prove that we came into this world naturally just by a woman all right this is wisdom of solomon 7 and 1 i myself also am a mortal man like to all and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth it says and in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of 10 months being compacted in blood of the seed of man and the pleasure that came with sleep because you were sleeping in the womb all right so it says the seed of man so when a man puts his seed into a woman all right however that seed gets to that that woman in that woman but it's coming coming from a man all right it's coming from a man all right a woman naturally cannot just produce seed and then just it being in in her in her system and then she just has gives birth that's just not the order the order is when she conceives seed all right from a man all right then she gives birth to a child and that seed is uh the same as the father all right and that's the order of things all right not that madness that she was talking about so with that all praises to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai